this video is to cover uh, information about your coolant tank if you're thinking about getting into shop making or if you want to upgrade your current system I have a lot of questions from people say do you sell the complete setup like you're looking at here no I don't because shipping would be a nightmare for something like this um, this is a very simple little tank that anybody can build if you have any welding skills or you have a buddy that can weld you just simply get you some uh, 11 gauge sheet metal build you a 14 inch square tank 14 inches deep put some legs on it I have some little casters on the bottom so I can uh, <clears throat> move it around from place to place with a little handle in the front um, the stove burner is very simple setup. You simply put a platform on there. Now I have a turnbuckle on mine, which you don't have to do. That's just something that I thought would be neat to be able to uh, adjust the angle slightly here if you need to, which you normally don't. If you set this at 12 degrees, um, that's for my shop dripper pans. Now I don't know if you're using some other brand I don't know what that would be but for mine you set this at 12 degrees and when you're when you're putting your stove burner in you simply would cut a, a round circle in your metal set your pan in there set your burner on that you want to get it as close to the front as possible so your your element is up close to your shot ramp you want to keep plenty of heat up here. Uh, you notice I cut a little bit of this pan off right in the front, kind of made it square across through there. That allowed me to move the burner forward a little bit more. Just has a simple on off switch, four pole toggle switch that will handle 220 current. Um, just you can build it out of scrap metal, whatever you want to do. Now I have hinges on mine so I can use this turnbuckle, but if you don't, don't do that, you can just weld this flush with the top of your tank, this, this piece of metal here. Um, I do have a little pump in mine that circulates the coolant as I'm running. It also is very handy about emptying the tank when you're finished running shot. The bricks are in here simply to act as uh, heat sinks and to take up some space because if you take the bricks out, the tank holds a little bit over 10 gallon. So I would have to have another uh, gallon or so to put in uh, on top of my two five gallon buckets that I use, which that wouldn't be a big deal, but the bricks help to keep the coolant cooler longer. The little hose comes across the bottom, up this side, and over, and simply sits in this little bracket, and you can uh, take it out and put it over in a bucket to empty your tank. It's a 12-volt bilge pump that you would buy for 15 bucks, uh, and a little, I use a little uh, lawnmower battery to power it. And you have a little switch down here on the side that sticks to the side of the tank. So. The overflow here is just a, a pipe nipple welded through the tank with an elbow and this little nipple turned up here and you can adjust that to get your overflow correct. Uh, very simple setup. You can use whichever size nipple you want. This I think is a half inch or you can go up to three quarter or whatever. But uh, don't let this tank set up deter you from going into shot making because it's, it's a very simple process. Uh, as far as electrical, I'm not an electrician. I don't advise you on, on electricity. If When you get ready to wire this thing up, you need to get an electrician to do that for you. But uh, basically the way it works is you've got your power cord coming in, hooks to two uh, back poles on the switch. You make two jumper wires going from the front of the switch to the two legs on your burners. 
and you simply flip it on and off. My pans are designed to run with this burner wide open. You don't need a heat controller on it because the amount of lead going in equals the amount that the, is going out the front, so you don't have to worry about the lead overheating. It's a carefully balanced system. So there you go. Just wanted to let you know how simple this little tank is. Uh, of course, you got your little catch pot here that you also wash your shot in. Simple uh, $15 item at Walmart. Drill some holes in the bottom. Put some screen wire in the bottom. And uh, you notice I've got a piece of welding, gas welding rod in the bottom that's uh, held in place with some pop rivets to the side that keeps the screen wire in place. And everything works really slick. So there you go. You guys uh, appreciate your support. And if you need anything, give me a shout.